the queen has arrived. Oh, stop. How Listen, are you? you? I'm great, but you know, you have created such an empire. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And I think it's important that we recognize that because this is absolutely rare. Thank you come you. in here very humble. Oh, thank very you so much. Nice. No, I'm sure very grateful it. for the opportunity, so thank you so much. Of course, absolutely. Okay, so congratulations. What is this? The 10, 10 season. season. 11 New York, I've been New York. Saying this is the year of royalty. Yeah. This season of return. Right. Yes, it's 10 seasons of New York. The one that started it all. What you see on camera isn't always what you get behind the scenes. You're a liar. You gotta really know if this is what you wanna do. What is it about the show? Do you think it's the storylines? Do you mm. think it's the personalities on there? I think it's a combination, okay. right? When we started Love & Hip Hop, there weren't that many brown and black faces. Mm. And the ones that were there, we're not always showcasing the best light. There's very specific lighting, right? You need a really great DP who understands how to light our skin. Mm. It's a different process. And it was very important that, you know, the casting phase, finding people who had the kinds of stories that I knew existed existed in the world, right. but more importantly, we're willing to share that. Right. Because this kind of thing happens to us all, right. but we don't have to live it and experience it right. in front of millions of people. Mm. You know, you take the real elements, you set it in, within this production construct, right. and then you supersize it, right. right? And I was just saying, it's like a, Telenovela. Yeah. If you think about what a Latin soap opera is like, it's you know everything super dramatized, super big, super everything. big. So the personalities, and we love it, the right? drama, the action, everything you know. And so that's what it is. And the fact that they again can lean into yeah. their lives, sometimes laugh at themselves, yeah. but do it all in a way that they allow an audience to get to know them. Right and to connect with them, right. I think that's the special sauce. That's the secret ingredient. And you're happy. Oh, absolutely. I mean, listen, I can be nothing but proud. Right. Think about, you know, the legacy. Yes. That, that we are part of the culture mm -hmm. woven into the fabric. You know, Barack Obama shouted us out. <laughs> I mean, it's like some love and hip hop stuff. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. There's no world where I could have ever imagined that we would be here today, but, you know, I'm incredibly proud to have been a part of this journey. Do you like this world more than managing musicians? You know what? At my core, I am a manager. Even yes. as a producer, that's the skill set that I bring to the table. Right. So of course my cast members get the benefit of that. Right. For me, the goal is to see them succeed. Right. Because their success is not only my personal success, but success of the franchise. Yes. That's what's gonna keep For us sure. alive. Shout out to Cardi B. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, do, do you two keep in touch still? Yeah, oh, good. absolutely. Good. Yes, I, actually, um, Missy was honored at uh, the VMAs. Yes, about and time, by the way. Amazing party. Yes. yes. Um, but Cardi came out to support Missy. Cam you know, she that had was all amazing. of her girls Wasn't around it? her. And just that togetherness. Yes. That's something, too, that I love that we can do. C continue to, like, bring artists together, share their experiences. Right. You know, so much more to love in hip-hop. How is it for you maneuvering in a male-dominated industry? So it was a wild, wild west back then in the 90s when I was navigating hip-hop. And for me, I kind of had blinders on, right? It took a very long time for me to recognize that all the things about me that are feminine, being a woman are all the gifts that I bring to what I do, right? The empathy, the compassion, the understanding, the nurturing, those aren't things that I should shy away from and try to you know, navigate with the guys. These are my advantages in business. Right. And everything about me that makes me a powerful, strong woman are all the things that you cannot get from a man. Nice. You yes, know, yes. we'll never get from a man. Right. So. I love your energy. Oh, thank you. You know why? <laughs> because it's like you could just tell nothing's going to stop you. Who says? Right. Who says? Who told Barack Obama he could not be president of the United mm. States? Right. Who told Tyler Perry he couldn't own Shout out to Tyler know, his Perry. entire yes. studio? Who told Oprah Winfrey, right. Missy Elliott? Like, who Listen, is I love this Missy. person yes. sitting around dictating what we're capable right. of? For me, you know, I want to, when I lay down and take that final breath, know that I have exhausted every ounce of potential that, mm. you know, was bestowed on me. So we're getting ready for the top of the year, mm -hmm. getting ready for Black History Month. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to know, what is Black Flexing History Month? Flexing in my month? complexion. That's what Black History Month is to T me. Tell me, tell yeah. me what it means to you and why it's important that everyone celebrates mm -hmm. Black History Month. You know, one of the things that, you know, especially to our kids we talk about all the time is that a lot of our icons have become um, 
I, I don't know, sanitized in a way, right? Yeah. There are these images on t-shirts and they're, and just the struggle behind yeah. their stories and who they are, why they did what they did, how that time and place, you know, impacted them. I just think that that's important we, that we continue to educate, we continue to talk about that right. because it's easy for it to just be, you know, a celebration in the way that Christmas became less about, you know, right. Christ and more about presents. Mm. You don't want Black History Month Month to become just this thing where, you know, we just party because we're celebrating black history. We need to understand the struggle and mm -hmm. honor that so that we can continue as the years go on right. to have more achievements, more progress, yes. and more accomplishments to celebrate within Black History Month. Gosh, I love you, Mona Scott. Oh. I don't know what to tell you. You just, you know, I, I just, your strength, your oh, energy, you. and uh, the fact you're so just bright. Thank you. So thank you so much. Well, That's absolutely. amazing. Thank, thank you. Thank you for stopping by today. I'm having a good time. Oh, yes. Thank You're you for being here today. I'm on the suit. Hey. <laughs>